今夜も心臓がバクバクするようなスリルとサスペンス時には寒気がするかもしれません日本で一番究極のゲーム番組スラッシャー Take care of myself. You're a brave man, Devon. Now, our next 
contestant is a 28-year-old computer programmer from Chicago. Make some noise for Michael Gibbons. Now, Michael, what brings you here? Money? Fame? I want it all, mijo. Of course you do, Michael. Who doesn't? <clears throat> now, next contestant is 31 years old and she's a fitness instructor from Buffalo. She is a three-time winner of the Miss Steel Woman competition and a two-time extreme gladiator champion. Let's hear it for Rebecca Galley. Just another competition for you to win, Rebecca? Something like that, Miho. Our next contestant is 32 years old and works as a doorman in a nightclub in Detroit. Please welcome Rick Fisher. This time it's payback. Three slashes to be buried. Oh, baby, have we got a show for you tonight. A triple slasher dare. As we know, for each slasher killed, there is an extra bonus of two million dollars. Bring him on, mask-wearing pussies. Goading our slashers is very risky. They take everything personally and like to give it that something extra. Which brings us to this pretty little flower, originally from Seattle. She's 20 years old, an exchange student, studying law and political science right here in Tokyo. You have to admire her courage. Let's give a big slasher welcome to Megan Laurie. Now, now, everyone, let's be polite to our American guests. So, Megan, tell us why you want to be on Slashers. It's... It's personal. Well, maybe one of our Slashers will pry an answer out of you. Right, Slasher fans? Now, our last but certainly not least contestant is from Portland. She's 22, a model, an aspiring actress. Let's hear it for the very lovely Brenda Thompson. Now, I know our male audience is already rooting for you to survive. Yeah, I just want to say hi to my friends back home. Well, I'm sure they're all rooting for you, honey. What a great group. And joining our contestants once again as our mobile witness through the danger zone is our favorite roving cameraman, Hideo. Hideo, aren't you one of our most exciting groups? Yes, they are, Miho. Very exciting. And well, I hope most of them will survive so we can go out later and celebrate. Especially the ladies, am I right? Huh? Oh, yes. Now, we have to take a short break, but don't touch that remote. When we come back, we will meet this week's nightmare-inducing Masters of Mayhem on Slasher. And we are to tomorrow. で、じゃあ、ここ本当気をつけてやってよ。緊張してさ、え、本番終わり10分前に張り切りとかするやつって本当困っちゃうから、こっちもさ。もし黙り残したら、ご喋りかなくて盛り上げてさ、うまくやって
The one, the only, Dr. Ripa! Good evening. I would like you to all open your mouths and say... Contestants can use whatever they find in the danger zone as a weapon. But once they step in, there's absolutely no turning back and no way out. And to prove to our audience that you are acting of your own free will, here is your last chance to turn back before entering. Please tell the world, do you want out? Or are you game? Game. Game, mijo. Game. Game. Time for some butt kicking. Mm. Well, looks like we might have to get a substitute for Megan. No! I'm game. Look at that enthusiasm! Like I said, Slashers is always full of surprises. Game. All right, then. The clock will start as soon as our participants enter the danger zone. They will then have a two-minute head start before our slashers are let loose. Contestants, enter the danger zone. everyone. You said it, man. Contestants, on your marks! I'm down. You'll be okay. Get ready! Take it easy. Those slashers ain't so big. We can take them on. <laughs> like the saying goes, size isn't everything. These fucks are killers. Remember that. This is it, folks. One stop chopping. <laughs>
I had to do this. People, people of America, my blood will soon be on your hands. Every, every one of you watching me right now, you are consenting to my execution by giving your support to this show and to their advertisers. You are the root of the problem of this sick and inhuman practice. The acceptance of mass murder as a national pastime. I thought you were doing that A lovely little political martyr. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh what a shame. Go ahead, you murdering son of a bitch! Oh, not quite yet, my pretty little flower. You have so many interesting things to say. And to show. Be embarrassed. I am a doctor. <laughs> By giving you in this is a systematic brainwashing. Of corporate sponsor <laughs> fueling uh, uh, oh god I'm so stupid I'm a fucking joke <laughs> come now my child preacher man We'll end your suffering on this miserable earth. You are a poor, lost son. Come into my forgiving arms and you shall find peace. And they'll find you in pieces. <laughs> Take it off, or you'll be break dancing again. Sound sinners, as it is written in the holy book, your time upon this earth is out and I. For you have transgressed one of our Savior's seven deadly sins. Oh, not you. now, not now. Listen, children. Listen to the preacher, man. Your souls are black with the evils of green. But sweet Jesus' face is not upon the dollar bills that you worship. You will not be able to bribe St. Peter at the pearly gates. Oh, no. There is only one place you are all going to for lusting after riches other than the kingdom of our Savior. Oh, yes. You know the place I'm talking about. That's right. Preacher mine will send your putrid soul straight down to the chitlin pit eyes. Thanks for helping. Listen, you want some help? Don't try to be a hero, and you might make it out of this. Well, I won't help you, that's for fucking sure. Look, don't provoke a fight with them unless it's absolutely necessary. Shit. Your life's on the line, and you still care that a bunch of strangers can see your stuff. Here. Thanks. Cheesecake to beefcake. Fuck you. I think you're smart, don't you? Smarter than you, college boy. Look, I ain't got no beef with you. 
with any of you. It just occurred to me, you guys know what the fuck you got yourselves into. Why didn't he kill me? Don't you watch the fucking show? Honey, he didn't My kill- My name's Megan. Glad to meet you, Megan. My name's Devon. Do you come here often? The reason he didn't kill you, Megan, is because you're a cute little number. Besides, it was too early in the game. He had orders to save you for later. And now, he wants to get all friendly like chat so the audience could like us, root for us. So when the fun starts, it won't just be pieces of meat they'd be cutting up. But 20-year-old law student Megan Lowry from Seattle. Also, we need to give time to the bookies taking the bets and our chances of survival. This is the number one gambling event in the world. What are my chances? About five to one. No. A whole lot better. <laughs> That's disgusting. Show a little self-respect, will you? You're acting like a... Leave her alone! She knows what she's doing. How about we trade up? Now, if we're through with the fashion parade... Hey! I don't like this guy's attitude. But he sure shit looks like he knows what he's talking about. We should get cracking, making weapons too. Exactly. That's what separates the men from the boys. You know, for someone who doesn't want to help, you're pretty loose with the advice and your tongue. What's your own, Mike? Hey, cool it, guys. We have enough enemies outside without more inside, all right? That's it. I'm out of here. No, wait. You're not going alone, are you? Hell, they're gonna separate us sooner or later anyway. But don't we stand a better chance if we all stay and fight together? Listen, it's nothing personal, but I can't afford to trust you people. What? You, you're saying we would kill each other? It's rare, but... But it happened. I've seen it. You let someone take care of your back, and that someone takes you out. It's crazy. This whole situation's crazy. And everyone in it. There are no legal rules here. That goes for what happens to us and between us. The only person you should trust is yourself. And remember, if this motherfucker is close to you, shit's about to go down. Hey! You crazy! I wouldn't block this door if I were you. No way to get in. But no way to get out. Man, he's so dead. <laughs> ah. Come back outside, little flower. <laughs> We're all very interested in hearing the rest of your political views. We love people here with high moral standards. <laughs> Just don't forget to take your clothes back off. <laughs> Remember, it is standard procedure before seeing a doctor. <laughs> It's okay. They're gone. Yeah, for now. Megan, don't tell me that's why you're here. Did you make a statement? Come we all have our reasons, don't we? Okay, what makes you think yours are any better? You're so young. You're supposed to live for you. Don't stand a chance unless you decide right now. Do you want to live or be a sacrificial lamb for some cause nobody gives a shit about anymore? Listen. 
I agree with Rebecca. We should help each other out. But there's no sense in doing so for you if you came here to die. I said what I wanted to. I don't want to be touched by one of those fuckers again. Good girl. Brenda, isn't it... Are you sure we can't convince you to put a top back on? It's, it's so demeaning. Let her do what she wants. Chuck. Hey, there's a chance I don't make it today. I like the thought of seeing something nice before I go. Not to mention, it's giving me extra motivation to get us both out of here in one piece. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Can you believe this guy? Congratulations, honey. You just got yourself a personal bodyguard. That guy Devon was right. You are smarter than you look. Listen, Rebecca. Go easy on the insults, okay? Because contrary to what you may believe, I'm not doing this because of some kind of bimbo. Stop thinking about my fucking boobs. And let's all concentrate on how we're going to make it out of here alive. Okay? Uh Okay, sorry. We're in this together, aren't we? This shit hold together. We are. You're an actress, right? Well, you'll be a star when we get out of here. Hey, Rick, just remember, they, unlike her, won't be impressed by your muscles. You jealous? Listen, Squirt, not a Devon is gone. Don't you start being a wise-ass tool, at least. He seems to have the balls to back up whatever he says. You? I don't think so. Even Rebecca here can kick your ass in no time at all. And you don't even have a pair of tits to help you out. Even Megan can take her top back off and hope to survive. You? Nothing. Oh, I can take care of myself. But, uh, you're right. Sorry. I'm just nervous. So do I. I have mimes too. You see 
Public Works noise. Where are they? Why are they following us? Psyching us out. Playing with our nerves. How did you? You were amazing back there. It's nothing. I've always been into combat sports. The more extreme, the better. Concentration. Dear contestants, I highly advise you to elaborate on your story. It will use up playing time and might keep you alive longer. So you're giving advice now? Well then, uh, which way should we go? Great, so now you're back to being the silent peeper? You might be lying. But I would really like to know. Look, it's important to me. Okay, I... okay. Jeez. You're just like the producers. They want to know every fucking thing about me. And I told them, so I might as well tell you and the rest of TV land. I'm sick. I've been diagnosed with MS. Multiple sclerosis. I'm sorry. Six months ago. The... There's no way I'm going to end up crippled and suffering. No way. Don't they have treatments now? Treatments? No cure. Your body is the first thing to go. And your mind that lingers for a long time. No way. Uh, not this girl. I'm gonna leave a beautiful corpse, as they say. So I'm up for any fucking challenge the world has to offer. And this place is number one. If I make it out of here, you won't believe how fast I'll spend the loot. And there's also a lot of good I could do with that kind of money. Rebecca, thanks. Thanks for staying with me. I'm really scared. Good girl. Megan, listen to me. You made a mistake, a fucking big one. You have to get your mind focused on one goal getting out of here alive, okay? jump out of this. I know it. It's funny. When I was a kid, I always wanted to go to a horror movie museum. But they didn't have any where I grew up. But I know all of them. I saw every film. You like horror films? Yeah. I don't get it. Didn't you say you could never watch the show? You struck me. I 
devoted creature of the holy book. Make it get out of here. Silence, you agent of Satan. You've forgotten your role as servant to man and to the Lord. You say. But now the time for reckoning is at an end. Pray for forgiveness. Stay tuned, Slasher fans, for the pulse pounding conclusion after this short break. and Megan Laurie, absolutely no movement will be totally during commercial break, or you will be pacified. I'm gonna have to stay here under this fucker. Great. I'm gonna be changing channels now. Megan, Megan, are you okay? I'm okay. Now listen to me very carefully. Once this commercial break ends, run away as fast as you can. Do you hear me? I won't leave you. I can reach you in time. No, you can't. Look, I'm fucked. But I'll feel better if I know you made it out of here. Rebecca, I won't go. I can try to stop him. Get ready. Back in 10, Megan, nine, remember this. Eight, Once the commercial is over, he swears seven, that I'm done for. Six, if you try to stop him instead five, of getting away, he'll be four, risking your life for nothing. Three, Do you hear me? Two. Yes, you have. You gone gone blood all over your little hands. Now I'm gonna put some on the rest of your bodies. Yes, I will. Oh, unless you come on over here and give me a little old case. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Fuck you. 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 Well, dang, Nolly. That's not nice. Uh-uh, no. Isn't it all? No. Well. <laughs> Looks like I've plumb run out of guys. Oh, but don't you go anywhere. No, uh, no. The Charlie's gonna be right back. Right back. Hey. Hey, are you okay? It's a little groggy. Fucker sure could punch. Okay. There's gotta be a secret door, like in the cabin. Presently occupied with a patient. <laughs> However, you are in the very capable hands of that good colleague of mine. He's not as precise as I am, but as you will find, he gets the job done. <laughs>
such a shy little flower, aren't you? <laughs> and that's not a good thing here. <laughs> or would you rather be like that girlfriend of yours? <laughs> I think not. So why don't you show yourself to our fine audience? <laughs> or your fate will be much, much worse. <laughs> I've always been a reasonable man, you know that? So, I will make things easier on you. <laughs> oh, no. God, it won't kill you to tell me that! 
So sorry, but I cannot. I lose my job. <laughs> yeah, and what a great job it is. You're a fucking monster. Listen, I cannot help you. Forget about me, but do not give up so easy. Keep moving or they will be forced to make things interesting again. Go away! Okay, I don't care anymore. Do you want to finish your speech? It won't do any good. Yes, it would. <laughs> oh, but Doc said that you'd be nice to charm and I, or you wind up like Becky here. Oh, yes. Charlie caught a strong girlhood. Yes, he did. Oh, now, come on now. Just give me a little hope. Looks like they're gonna give us a little break, even though he's with us. You haven't been by yourself all this time, have you? Uh, I was with. But he. You know, he was killing her, and I. I couldn't do anything. He, he cut her in half. Calm down, calm down. Who are you with? Re Rebecca. Listen, lady, you're okay, understand? You're still alive. Shit. Oh, but at least she got one of them. She killed him. What? She got one of them? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. This is fucking important, Megan. Are you sure he was dead? Let me go! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I gotta be sure that you're sure. It could mean life or death for both of us. Which one was it? What does it matter, okay? She got one of the bastards. It's damn fucking important. Which one? Now tell me. It, it was the preacher guy. <sighs> Should have guessed. Luckily for you, he was a dumbass rookie. I don't think Rebecca was very lucky at all. Look, I'm sorry if I was rough with you. Rebecca did good, real good. So did you. You gotta keep moving, hold this. Give me that. Wait, be careful. The, the same thing happened to me before. The, the music, when I got attacked. You can't be too concerned about the music. Sometimes, they just want to scare you, make you think something's going to happen. Other times, they just miss their fucking cues. But don't forget, the music can be soft. Then pow. But why? Just to fuck with our heads. Look, you know in horror movies, only the spectators can hear the scary music? Because the characters don't know they're in deep shit? Well, we know we're in deep shit. This is a motherfucking live horror show. 
and they make us hear the music just to fuck with our nerves. Although, I'm pretty sure they're gonna leave us alone until we reach the rest of the castaways. during the war. I couldn't box anymore after that. It didn't matter how good I was, how much I studied, the fact that I never lost, I was finished. All those years of effort, over. Just when I was about to make the real money. And now, well shit. People are gonna think they're watching a fucking soap opera. De Devon, you're smart. You could do anything you want. Why would you? Listen, Megan. I've been feeling pretty dumb since we started this little party. But here I am. And now that I've told you and the rest of the world my little story, I'll make a more interesting kill. Then why did you tell me? Because it would buy us some time. And you're right. It does help. But don't go thinking I've got all the answers. And don't think I'm not nervous too, okay? Or you'll be getting an emergency house call from the doctor. Shit. He's not wearing his mask. I, 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 I ripped it off before. Fuck. Now he's pissed. Last chance, Devon. It is not the time or the place to be a gentleman. Fuck you. Finally getting the hang of things. Shit. I knew this couldn't last. We were starting to think we were on vacation. They gonna attack us right away? That we'll find out soon enough. Where's Rebecca? They got her. Poor kid. Saw the whole thing. Oh, shit. You okay? But Rebecca, she killed one of them. The rookie, preacher man. No way! Fuck. If Rebecca nailed one of those sons of bitches, we can get the other two easy. The others are the most dangerous ones. Here's a word of advice. This place is a death trap. If you guys stay together, some of you guys are gonna become part of the furniture. And just how do you know that? Last year, episode 15, they used the same set. You guys can't notice, but it's happening too slowly. But this room has started moving. In a few minutes, this rear exit that makes this place seem safe is going to be closed off. <sighs> Shit, it's true. Thanks, man. Devon? Can I go with you? I'm sorry. Be cool. You're doing good. Just keep your head and your feet. Lucky bastard. He leaves, 
This guy stays with us again. Maybe we should split up. It might be safer. You and Brenda, me and Megan. What do you think? No. No way. But none of us are safe if we're all together. They'll attack for sure. We shouldn't separate. Look at what happened to Rebecca. But remember what Devon said. They're going to separate us eventually anyhow. Look, you want to go off solo like Devon? Be my guest. All right, all right. We stay together. We'd better go. Looks okay. Love your tone of confidence, man. Contestants. We didn't make it. Oh, shit. Bastards. Why do they put them here? Fucking with us. That's all. We're in loser land right now. The survivors you only see in the winner's circle at the end, if you make it out. And then they add your photo, and you become a star. TV shows, commercials, movies, right, Brenda? <laughs> These ones Dr. Ripper got. This is Switchblade Sam's last one before he got killed. These others, they're, they're all Dr. Rippers. Wow, we're lucky he came back tonight. What the hell are you talking about? Well, if I was to be done in, I would want it to be by him. He's the best. Whoa, wait a fucking minute. Are you some kind of suicide wishing us an M freak who wet dreams himself on being done in by one of these fuckers? What? No, no, I, I've just always been respectful of those who were the best in their professions, whatever it is. Why the fuck are you here? The money? Sure, the money, same as you. Why else? What's wrong? I, uh, I was dared into coming here. <laughs> you better stop laughing. That, that is really stupid. <laughs> Did you say? You better apologize quick and apologize nice, or those slashes are the last of your fucking worries. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're so stupid. <laughs> oh, you fuck! Are you the 12 years old? What the hell is the matter with you two? Come on, get rid of your fucking judgments, Michael. All of us are fucking stupid to be here. You included. I'm not stupid. Then stop acting like you are. Save your speeches for the camera. Now don't you two start. We have enough to worry about. Perfect. I just love signing my handiwork. <laughs> He's gone. So that's what you look like, Dr. Ripper. It's, it's okay. You're all right. No way! Use his! Or your own! You take your shirt off right now or I'll rip your fucking head off! Hey, Rick, I dare you to say something intelligent! Go on, I dare you! I'm gonna- Don't! Don't you two start up again! Rick, just ignore him! Look, we can't afford to be fighting! It... It almost 
gonna bring you jewels. Okay. Fine. Here. We should keep moving. If we stay here too long, they'll come back. You've been taking Devon lessons? Do you have a better idea? I... No, not for now. Here, let me. I'm sorry. Come on, it'll be all right, I promise. I won't let anything happen to you again. Hey. I know where this leads to. Follow me. Hey, guys, come on. Oh, wow, look at that. The bridge of death. <laughs> It's not my fucking fault. I didn't... Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Trap! Y'all ready for a little slice of wine? Oh, yes, I bet you are. Yes, indeed. Get back. Well, maybe if you're all real nice to Charlie. Oh, especially the girl is. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Don't touch that remote. Oh, don't! We'll be right back with more nerve-wracking excitement. until we're back on the air and they say action. It happened to me and Rebecca before. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. He's not going to hurt you, I promise. Oh, it's too bad. Charlie can't promise y'all the same thing. Oh, no, he can't. <laughs> now, Sarah Listen to me, Chainsaw Boy. You're going down. Oh, well, you're doing a whole lot less talking in just one minute when y'all hands is off of your neck. Oh, yes, you are. Well, you better make it a clean fucking shot, asshole, because you are going down. We both are. Well, that's pretty funny, mister. Yes, it is. <laughs> Keep laughing, but I swear I'm taking you down. Don't be crazy, Rick. Do you have a better idea? Because I'm all ears. No, Rick. Believe me, I don't want to, but there's no other choice. If this fucker wants me, you'll need to have the balls to pay for it. You're bluffing. Yes, you are. Oh, what happened to your redneck accent, Charlie? Look at me. You know I'm not lying. What do you say, Chainsaw Boy? You either get the hell away from here or we tangle. Do you understand? I'm ready for you. Oh, like hell, I'll remain in position. Doesn't feel too good, does it? Listen, it's just my job. Well, you picked the wrong fucking job. Look, I'll make a deal with you. I let you pass, okay? He's lying, Rick. Don't you Shut believe the word? I have to think. Listen, guy, I'm not lying. 
I got a wife and kids. Am I supposed to care? I have kids too, you know. Well, then think of them for God's sake. I'm not lying. I'll let you pass, I swear. Come on, man. All these people are strangers to you. I'm sorry. Get ready. Back in five. It's okay. Four. You're doing it for your kids. Three. Well, you love your kids, right? Two. Yes, I love them very much. One. Action. All right. Nice and slow. I'll be seeing you soon, kid. <laughs> from my perspective, you would see the humor of this whole situation. Slasher's gone. The pot is now at sixteen million dollars. Incredible. And you won't deserve a dime of it. We all won't. You have a big problem, you know that? You think you're so moral with your political mumbo jumbo. We're all capitalist sinners. Bullshit. You're the one who's fucked up. 20 years old and you think you know how to change things. Make a difference. <laughs> well, you're nothing. Insignificant. If you don't look out for yourself, you're gonna be eaten alive. You have to get them first because they're all out to get you. You. You don't know anything. Why don't you just shut up, asshole? Ooh, now the Bride of Frankenstein is against me too. <laughs> Shit! Look at this. Sanity 
is a sin, you know. Don't, it's too late. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. But personally, I love vanity. <laughs> Mr. Director, I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's coming. Bastard! I think we should keep moving. Something that will. We are in the love room. <laughs> Do you know what that means? No, of course you don't. Here. Ah. Let me explain it simply. If we have sex, we will buy ourselves some no attack time until the next commercial break. What the fuck are you talking about? It's simple. We have to run out the clock. If we screw, we buy ourselves some free minutes of guaranteed peace. <laughs> Sex is ratings. He'll try and kill us afterwards, but not during. You uh, up for it? No! God, what is the matter with you? Nothing's the matter with me. I'm being smart. We have about 18 minutes to go. If we have sex, we are that much closer to the whistle. All right. No. Forget it. Slashers always kill those who screw anyways. It's... It's better than running scared for the next 18 minutes. And as for killing those who screw, wake up! They kill everybody here. No, he won't attack us if we give a good show. Don't worry about it. Think of it as playing a part. Imagine you're an actress. There's the camera. Forget the rest. You're crazy. I'd rather die with dignity than fuck on coast-to-coast -coast television. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Ah! What the fuck are you doing? Are you crazy? It doesn't have to be oh, rough, but I'll hurt oh. you. I swear I will. They want this to happen. They won't stop me. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's a good girl. Nice and calm. gonna be oops am i interrupting something we were just arguing over survival strategy fuck you you go motherfucker now now michael you don't want to do anything rash with what i picked up from old charlie you don't stand a fucking chance and i swear if you ever touch this girl I'm gonna humpty you dumpty your ass into itsy bitsy pieces. And ain't no fucking doctor gonna put you back together again. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I was just scared. Just trying to stay alive. I didn't want to hurt her. Why would I? I don't know. 
could it be that it would make the pot a little sweeter? Listen, asshole, I don't give a shit. So why don't you just go on your merry way and I won't cut your ass to pieces. Good luck, Devon. Yeah. Fuck you too. Forget about him. Since he's staying with us, it's the doctor we got to worry about. Come on. are all I know it wasn't pretty sight wait a minute damn it didn't work before either I hoped if I let it rest for a while shit don't know if it busted during the fall or if they control these things too or well, at least it scared off old Michael Luckily, he ain't too good with the bluff. But the doctor, he'll know. Was, was he still alive when you took it off him? The fucking guy was a bloody mess. He was crying and shit. I finished him off. You should have let him suffer. Don't say that, Megan. You go down that road, there is no turning back. It'll eat you up. Are you going to leave me now? All alone? Don't worry. I'm not going to leave you again. Listen. If something happens to me, don't let that fucker Michael near you, okay? Don't worry. You don't think he'd try anything again, do you? I'm not sure. But if I'm gone, don't be afraid to use that on him if you have to. And remember, don't turn your back on him. Ever. He's crazy. This whole fucking world. Just stop, stop, stop. What? Did you hear something? No. But I lost my concentration for a second. Would have been a good time for them to attack us. Come on, doctor. Come out. Where are you? Come on. How much time is left? I don't know. But enough time to kill us both. Twice. No, you mother! Where did it come from? I'm not sure. Here. Here, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. You're good, all right. But you know something? 
you might actually lose. You hear that up there? You've already lost two of your bozos. You don't want to lose your most popular one now, do you? Time to back the fuck off. Time to play, Devin. disappointed <laughs> I was expecting a better fight you should have known I was faking <laughs> Mr. Roving Peeper here was with you and that little bitch the whole time huh? so hard on yourself <laughs> you were distracted by the good doctor bless his vicious soul <laughs> and of course <laughs> all this blood <laughs> it is amazing the amount you can squeeze out of a woman's head <laughs> thanks doll <laughs> Is she in for a big surprise? Megan. Megan. It's okay, Megan. I'm not gonna hurt you. We're safe now. Devon, he, uh, he put up a good fight, but he didn't make it. But it's okay. He hurt the doctor real bad, and I finished him off. <laughs> All the slashers are gone. We won. Do you understand? <laughs> We're rich. Look, I'm sorry about before. This place makes us crazy. I, I was really scared. But now we're safe. I, I promise. I'm not going to hurt you. Thank God. I was so scared. Hey, everything's gonna be all right. <gasps> gonna have to teach you some manners, little girl! You don't want to end up like poor 
Brenda, do you? <laughs> now, now, Megan. I'm sure we can discuss this like rational adults. Okay, guys, you want the show to end all shows? <laughs> Tell me where she's going. you at the audition just so you'd let me join your festivities here. <laughs> I am tired of being a fucking wimp. I'll show Julie I'm not a coward. I'll show them all. <laughs> oh, God, no. You see, the truth of the matter is, I wasn't expecting to get through this here extravaganza alive at all. This show of being my grand finale. Go out with a bang. <laughs> because I have some big news for America. I chose this show for my coming out, so to speak. You see, I'm the one the tabloids have baptized the Bible doll killer. 26 victims in all. <laughs> Well, 28, including tonight, but Devon and Megan probably won't count as serial killings. Oh, well. <laughs> now, why am I confessing all this? Well, I decided this would be a grandiose way to end my career. I... Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> Have to go this way for our lovely last contestant. Spit on it now, but that's not why I got rid of all know it all over there. And it's not why I'm gonna kill you. Because you are gonna die, little girl. <laughs> but first, I've got a deal for you. You throw away your little stick, and then you come on over here, and you blow me. And I won't use these babies. <laughs> I'll make it painless. I know how. Fuck you! Well, it looks like it's gonna be the hard way. There's just no end to the surprises, so keep those buns on your seat, and we'll be right back with the mind-blowing conclusion of Slushers. Oh, well, I'm in no hurry. The longer the waiting, the better the loving, as they say. <laughs> Dear contestants, there will be two minutes of playing time remaining after this last commercial break. Thank you. You are completely insane. The cops will nail you for sure. Uh-uh. The only one who's gonna do some nailing is me on you, honey. Doggy style. <laughs> you see, it's really very simple. To do their little murder show here, the producers have included in our contracts a little legal clause if you remember, it states that whatever is said and done during this show is unusable in a court of law. Isn't that amazing? God bless Japan! <laughs> I can confess, but I get away with it. I have total immunity. And now, 
one more for the road. So what exactly did you do? Why do you want to know? Oh, are you scared? If you're so sure yourself, go ahead and tell me. Go on, I dare you. Oh, goody, a dare. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. And then I'm gonna rape you and kill you. And not necessarily in that order. <laughs> oh yeah, I've killed a lot of young, pretty girls like yourself. And like Brenda here. <laughs> but seriously, they're right when they say that confession is good for the soul. Especially on live TV it is. <laughs> With total immunity. Except you forgot one very important detail. Really? After this show, because of your little speech, you'll be arrested and probably executed after your trial. Weren't you listening? Everything I've said during this show cannot be used in a court of law. I'm immune. We're not on the show, but he's still shooting. Our contract said that anything that happens during the show is not legally binding, but we're not on the air right now. What you've said during the break is now all on tape and considered legal evidence. Bullshit, you're lying. I'm a law student here, remember? But hey, if you don't believe me, ask them. All right, is she telling the truth? God damn it, answer me! When this break is over, you'll have two minutes to try and get me. You may or may not succeed, but one thing's for sure. After this show, you are going to jail! Get ready. Back in five. You're fucked! Four. Three. You're dead, you little cunt. Two. One. Action. They have cut to the studio until we get back there. Why? Why did you help me? Do not thank me. Listen, I don't care about you or anyone else stupid enough to come here. You want to mess with your life. Go ahead. Freedom of choice. But uh, there was no way I was letting that sick maniac back on the street. No way. Now, please enter the elevator. <laughs> that 
that was pretty stupid me telling you I didn't care about you with you being so rich. Now, if you're feeling generous, I did save your life, and I'm now out of a job. Now, everybody, get ready to give a tremendous welcome to our very courageous contestants. Here she is, Megan Larry. Turn it off. 